So in this video, we're going to talk about tables. We're going to talk about inserting tables and some of the functionality tables can give you in a OneNote page. So here we're going to do an activity where we're going to look at an M&M color survey and we're going to start to build a, a table as we go. So this is something that you might want to do along below as you're following me in the video and feel free to pause at any time if you need. Now, if you move over to the insert button, we're gonna, the first one you have is a table and it allows you to draw how many cells you want. Now, this will be familiar, you've probably used in Word or PowerPoint. Now, if you know exactly how many cells you want, if you want a four by three table, by all means, draw that up and go straight to that. We're gonna start off with a two by two table and we're gonna build from there. So as I said, we're doing an M&M color survey. So we need to create our headings and we're gonna create our color here and we're going to do a tally here. So let's say we're doing a mathematics activity where we're counting the probability or the statistics of the different colors of M&Ms that come out in a standard packet. So we're going to list some of our colors down here below, but you can see we've now run out of tables. So I'm going to need to create some more rows below. There's a couple of ways you can do it on a Mac. You can highlight this bottom row and you do hit the insert below and that's going to create a new one for us. I'm going to call that blue. But a quick hack for Mac users, if you're over here in the right cell and hit return, that's going to create a new one below. So that's a much faster way than moving up here, finding the right button and clicking below. And I'm going to go with brown. Now there's more colors in M&M packet, but I'm going to stick with those three for now. And let's just say as we're doing our tally, one, two, three, four, five red ones, one, two, three blue and two brown. Now I'm going to need to, as it gets a bit bigger, I'm going to need to get a totals list as well. So I'm going to highlight this row over to the right. I'm going to hit insert right and it's going to create a new set of cells for us. I'm going to call that total and I'm going to type in the amount or the number that pops up from our tally. So we had five, three and two. Now if you want to get a bit fancy with some of this, Obviously, if you need, you can drag these out as far as you need to make them as wide or as small as you need. But if you want to get a bit more formatting done, you can highlight all those different options there. So say maybe those cells. I'm going to head back to the home button with that formatting and I'm going to center all of that to make it nice and jazzy. And I might do the same for my headings. I might leave those over here to the left, but I could also center those if I wanted to. The other option you have with tables is you can also use some colors and shading. So I'm going to head back to my table option. I can hide the borders if I wanted to. That will take everything away. You can see I've already got, because that's highlighted, not actually highlighted, but I'm going to color that in in a nice gray color. I can also have the option to select different columns and delete rows and sections or delete the whole table if I wanted to. Now, if I want to get a bit more creative with my tables as well, let's say that's what I had to do for that. And now I had a question below. I'm going to insert a new row because OneNote doesn't have merge or split cells. You see those options aren't here that you'll get in Word or PowerPoint. So I'm just going to do a little workaround to show you how you can create some different types of cells to create a similar effect. So let's say I'm going to do a two by one here. So it might be I'm going to drag that out to match my ones up the top. And I might be I have my question up here. And then I'm going to do my answer in here below in white. And then I might have another one below. I'm going to hit insert again and draw a three by two. And this is where I'm going to do some of the actual probability or statistics of the tallying that I did above. So I'm just going to drag those out again to match the tables above. I'm going to call that red. I'm going to call this one blue and this one brown. And I'm going to center those just to make it nice and pretty. And here, let's say I want to do the actual, the fraction for the ones for the actual tally that I've done up here. So you can see I don't actually have an option to list what my fraction might be. So I'm going to need another row. So over here, I'm going to put one over to the left, insert to the left and create a new one. Now you can see it's changed up my spacing, but I can quickly fix that up. So whatever the heading might be there. So, you know, you, you can um, come up with something for that. But let's say I've now got a four by three and you can space it out as much as you want. It doesn't have to be aligned up the top. So the red one, let's say this one was fraction. 
and I've got red. So for red, I had five out of a total of 10. So I've got five out of 10. And we know we can obviously simplify that to one half. Uh, blue, I had three out of 10. Can't simplify that. And brown, we had two out of 10. And we can obviously simplify that to one fifth. So if I then wanted to go and create more cells below, you know, where I wanted to do, say, some decimals or percentages and things like that, I can also do the same just by simply adding some rows and percentage below. Just can't spell percentage. Okay, so there you go. There's a quick intro into how to use tables in OneNote for Mac.